the truth is, there's no good label for us. When I left here after my master's degree, I went to the uh, Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. Happy to see some colleagues here. And I was, I was apparently quite the curiosity. So people would come by my cubicle. I didn't have an office, of course. I had a cubicle. But people would come by to meet me because I was this new thing. And they would say, are you a nurse? And I'd say, no. And they'd say, oh, you're a social worker. I'd say, no. A dietitian? No. And they'd say, oh, God, please tell me you aren't a health planner. <laughs> no, I'm not a health planner. Well, what are you? Well, I'm an MCH person, and I'm working here in the MCH program, and I'm working on MCH stuff and MCH populations, and they would sort of back out of the cubicle. It's hard to say who we are. Who are we? What are we? It's hard to describe what MCH is. And it's often hard to say what your role is. But people expect you to be able to tell them who you are and what you do. Truth of the matter is, Regardless of what you call yourself or how you see yourself in this field, we are all very much interconnected. You will never work alone in this field. It's almost impossible to work alone in this field unless you're someone no one wants to work with. And I'll get to that point in a minute. You will never work alone. You will always work in teams. And you will always be part of this very large, very vast interconnected network of people out there who are like you, who care about the things you care about, who are passionate about what you're passionate about. And you'll find them along your journey. And you will treasure them because, remember what I said, the rewards are often intrinsic. We often have to get them from each other. We don't get them from the populations that we serve necessarily.